Hello and good morning, everybody. Nice to see you. How are you doing today? Listen, I realize I'm a few minutes late, um, but I'm here now. Very happy to see you. Happy to see this beautiful day. We've got sunshine today. It looks beautiful and warm. It looks like the perfect day to stay at home. Oh, <laughs> and I've got no choice. I have to stay at home. Due to the outbreak of covid I have to stay at home. But listen, hello, Parry and Elena and Punit. Nice to see you. Um, apologies again. I'm a few minutes late, but very excited about today's lesson. And first of all, a big thank you to all of you for um, lots of comments and suggestions in the Facebook group about what we can discuss in the coming classes. If you've not joined the Facebook group, um, please uh, do go along on Facebook, the IELTS, Keith IELTS Mastermind. Come and join the group and find out what's happening. So good morning, Hel Abilasha and Mariko and Catherine Prab, Catherine Daman Preet, nice to see you. Mana Jovin, hello. And Jasmine Chung, hello. Nice to see you here. Brilliant. Good. Hi, Felix and Punsit and Le Grand Prince. It sounds French to me. Sounds like a great name. Brilliant. Good to see you. Hen Hello, Nicole from Taiwan. <laughs> nice to see you and to chat to you again. Howdy, Igor. Always good to see you here. And uh, Tu and Chi Prijet. It's great. We've got people from Facebook and YouTube. Morning, Emily and Teresa and Lone and Felix and Angkor and Maple and Taj Preet and Elena as well. <laughs> so um, today, um, let me see. I got lots of suggestions on the uh, Facebook group about what we can discuss. And some of the suggestions were great. So we looked at people suggested pronunciation and idioms. Now, my feeling is the best way for me to help you with that is not to do a special class on that. But through all of the classes, we practice pronunciation and we practice idioms. And idioms, particularly by the topic, is much better to learn it. So I think that will be my approach. Other suggestions, some of them we have covered. There was one about business, one about games and toys. The one about games and toys around the world was interesting. But we have done toys um, and health as well. But what I realized is... When I went to the Facebook page to look at past videos so I could share the link with you, I thought, oh, my God, I, I don't know which video is which because the titles are not clear and the thumbnails don't help. So I've put on my list of things to do to add some simple thumbnails. So when you go to the video part of Facebook, you can quickly see, ah, there's the video on health. Ah, there's the video on toys. And that can help you locate lots more material more easily. Okay, so that was the first thing. Um, now, the other thing is a lot of people have asked about uh, corona disease and COVID because we might be asked about it. We need to talk about it. Um, okay, so yes and no, right? Um, how shall I explain this? The IELTS question bank, if you've noticed, is very, very, very wide. So you will not ever be asked a question about the coronavirus, right? Nobody will say, what do you think of the coronavirus? How has the coronavirus impacted you? No, impossible, right? Why? Because it is such a sensitive topic it's probably more sensitive than politics. So you will never be asked about politics or religion or other sensitive topics, right? It just, you find me a question about politics and uh, you can have my computer. <laughs> In the IELTS speaking, right? Talking about IELTS speaking, the, the, no, the questions are just so wide. There's never questions about the Olympic Games. It doesn't ask about the Olympic Games. It goes wider. It asks about international sport events, international cooperation, right? Um, they don't ask about specific things. So they will never ask, you know, how has the coronavirus impacted you? It's impossible because that is such a sensitive topic, right? Lots of people have lost their family. Lots of people are suffering from mental health. People have died. They will never ask you that, okay? So that's it. So I don't think it's useful for us to talk specifically about the coronavirus. 
And on top of that, <laughs> uh, my favorite connector, on top of that, there are lots of classes. I had a look on the internet and I will share some links with you. There are lots of classes about coronavirus. If you want to learn the ins and outs of coronavirus, there are all the special vocabulary. There are probably much, not better, yes, better classes, more focused classes, right? I think where I can add value to you and I can best help you is to show you how the the changing environment that we have because of corona will enter the IELTS speaking test, where it will impact your questions and how you may talk about it indirectly. And I think that's what will be useful. So that will that means talking about family, leisure activities with family, how you spend time with family, spending time with yourself, ways of working, uh, sport and leisure activities. Those questions you will probably be able to talk about COVID and coronavirus and its impact. So that wider area, I think, is something worth looking at and something we can look at today. If you agree, nod your head. <laughs> if you don't, go and get some breakfast. <laughs> okay, so I think that's what we will look at today, right? Let me see who else is here. Tanja, thank you very much. You've just bought the Udemy lessons. Brilliant. I hope you enjoy the course. Do let me know if you have any questions. Right. Rehab. That's an interesting name. Rehab. It's my pleasure to support you. And hello, smooth spoken English. Very nice. Very trendy. Gianta, nice to see you again, as always. Great. We've got a lot of people. I'm just going to flip down. Flip down as, as opposed to scroll down. Great. Um, if I miss your name, excuse me. There are just so many of them or I don't know how to pronounce it. Math set from Kurdistan, right? Kurdistan, I think. Right. Izel has an exam in April and is very afraid. Do not be afraid. Be happy. Relax. Enjoy the exam. Did you see my top tips for the exam test? Tip number 10, enjoy the test, right? It's all about your mindset. It's like the big superstars and the sports stars and the singers. They spend so much time getting their mindset ready for their performance, as well as practicing their skill. So focus on your mindset. Right, we've got people from Vietnam, Tran, hello. Savfries from Azerbaijan, excellent, like it, good. Uh, Zabiba, I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? Right, good, let me come down. Um, we've got people from China, Mokona, brilliant, welcome. And Gina from Dubai, all over the world, great. Now then, let me go through the hellos <laughs> and a few other questions. Great. Nice to see you all. So listen, let's have a look then at these questions. Um, I'm going to share some questions with you um, that I think um, mm, I'm trying to read with you. Teresa, is your Udemy course totally free? Ah, Teresa, no, it's not. My Udemy course, Get a Band 7 Plus, is paid for. However... There is a course for beginners. If you're new to IELTS, there's a very short beginners course on Udemy, and that one is free. Yes. Talk about health, Nafisa. Yes, we will do a little bit. We, we did recently the whole topic of health and health systems. So I'll send you links to those videos, but we'll touch upon that today. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. So here we go. Let me share with you um, some questions, right, that I think are relevant to this topic. So first of all, there's a part one question at the moment. Spending time by yourself. Do you like spending time by yourself? How do you usually spend your time when you are by yourself? Now, of course, this is a great question where you can talk about coronavirus and its impact, okay? Um, so a few people are asking, what's the topic? Yes, the topic is, what is the topic? The topic's very general. The topic is, um, what is the topic? The topic is the impact of coronavirus. 
something like that. And it's relationship to several questions in IELTS speaking. Okay. So I'll share with you some questions first that I think are areas you can talk about coronavirus if you choose, right? Of course, you don't have to. And then we'll look at the language of that. So just before we go in there, I'll come back to that. So here's another one. Okay. Hey. Describe a leisure activity that you do with your family, right? Now that, of course, um, a leisure activity with your family, you could make reference to the coronavirus, and you probably would, actually, because if you're used to uh, going out, um, walking with your family, then you can't do that in most of the world at the moment. Okay, and here is another so from that, part three then becomes how do people spend their leisure time in your country? Is the way people spend their leisure time these days different from the past, right? You can see, right, quickly how this is going to be connected um, to things like the coronavirus. Okay, so let me come back to that original question, the part one question. Let's start here. And it'd be great to share some ideas here. Spending time by yourself. Do you spend time by yourself? And how do you usually spend time by yourself? Okay. Um, let me see what some of you say. Sir, I stay at home because of your live session. <laughs> I spend my time watching Keith on on uh, YouTube. Um, great. So here we've got some nice ones. Okay. Khadija, as an introvert, I always enjoy, not NG, probably a typo, enjoy spending my time on my own. Good, okay. These simple collocations are very easy to get wrong, right? On my own. That's perfect. On my own. Great. <clears throat> um, I love to spend time with myself. That's fine. We can say by myself or with myself. Good, Elena. Great. Good. Um, hmm. the impact of coronavirus. Yes. Now, I cook meals for my roommates. Excellent. Huru, if that's how I pronounce it. Huru. Great. Um, Jovin, playing board games to boost my critical thinking. Yes. To cruise my critical thinking. Is that really why you play board games? I think most people play board games because it's fun. But on top of that, it has the added bonus, right? It has the added bonus that it <clears throat> it can develop your critical thinking skills, right? Let me add, it has the added, and I'll come back to this. I'll share this tip, this language with you. It has the added bonus that it also develops my critical thinking or boosts my critical thinking, yes. Now then, Miramonte says, when by myself, good, by myself, on my own, by myself. There's a famous song, on my own. <laughs> it sounds nothing like that. Note to self, do not sing in class again, Keith. Right. On my own, by myself, doing a lot of household, household is one word, but it's okay, we're speaking, not writing, chores and reviewing IELTS, Miramonte, what a good student you are, brilliant, and from good students to good dads or mums, bitty bitty, I don't know if that's a man or a woman, bitty bitty, are you male or female, play cricket in my yard with my three kids. And you're probably thinking, well, it's a man, but hey, women play cricket, right? Absolutely. <clears throat> right? There's watching movies. So let's get, let's move on and kick into corona mode, right? So think about how your, the way you're doing leisure activities has been impacted by corona, right? Give me some ideas here. Hang out in cafes, right? Good. Great. Being on my own, great. By myself, on my own, allows me to recharge my batteries. That is true. Very nice expression. I go recharge my topics. My topics recharge my batteries. Brilliant. 
Oh, now then, somebody after my own heart. Aaron, you're a man after my own heart, which means we think the same. I spend time playing guitar as well. Um, oh, Leonardo, seriously, don't want to eat murcielago. Do you? Or maybe you do, but surely not after what's happening recently. Mm-hmm. Um, I love to spend time with myself, by myself, with myself. And Hipati, because I'm quite... I am quite an an introvert person, an introvert person. I prefer to listen to others rather than speaking much. Great, good. Now then, Deepika, when I spent long spell in isolation, when I spent a long spell, so that's nice. A long spell is a long time, right? A long spell in isolation. So in isolation, I really... I'm really into singing. It can really help me to take my mind off matters. Take my mind off matters. Lovely idiomatic expression. Make a note, everybody. That is very, very nice, right? Take my mind off the uh, ooh, everything that's going on. So that's nice. In isolation. So there are hmm, a few expressions here that I will share with you. So Deepika, thank you very much. Let me... Um, come and try and share my screen. I'm just going to share some expressions that I think are relevant here. (laughs) Okay. Is that big enough? I think it maybe is, right? So somebody said, no, that was Keith. That was me. It has the added bonus that it also. So I said, we play games for fun, but it, it has the added bonus the extra benefit that it is also or it also boosts creativity or something like that i think somebody said boost critical thinking right i think you said so notice on my own or by myself these are the two most common you can say with myself it's a bit more metaphorical these are probably the two more common a long time a long spell um at home alone in isolation um it takes my mind off so playing games takes my mind off all the bad news so some other expressions that may be useful here right at the moment sorry dibiko i'm going to make you disappear at the moment um or in the present circumstances right at the moment i spend a lot of time by myself um because i'm in isolation for example, right? I'm in an, I'm in isolation. Or in the present circumstances, in this situation, in the present circumstances, I spend you know a long time by myself um, because I have no choice. So all of these basically meaning the similar thing, right? Due to the lockdown. Here's another. Due to the lockdown. Notice that it's not do, it's j, j, due, due to. Due to the lockdown, the two becomes t because it's not stressed. Did you know that? Due to, it's due to the lockdown or due to the outbreak of the coronavirus. Outbreak, out is the stressed one, not outbreak, the outbreak. Due to the outbreak of the coronavirus and the corona you stress here. A notice to becomes t and of becomes of of it sounds like a hiccup of of due to the outbreak of the coronavirus. Due to the outbreak of the coronavirus. Oh, by the way, guys, we're gonna have a bit more fluency gym later on. Fluency gym is a great way to practice your fluency and intonation. So stay tuned for the end. Um, So there are different cases, right? With the coronavirus, spending time by yourself, you may be in isolation. So we've talked about to be in uh, isolation or to be in confinement. Be in confinement to be in isolation. There's another one, right, that you're going to see in the news, to be in quarantine. So... All of these, to be honest, people in England are using these very, very similarly. 
So some people say, oh, I'm in quarantine. Oh, I'm in isolation. I'm in confinement. There are subtle nuances and difference in meaning. But most people are using them the same way. So don't worry too much about it. If you want to know the difference, right, isolation is somebody who has been diagnosed with a sickness. So if you have a sickness, right, let's imagine you've tested positive, then you have to go into isolation. You can go into self-isolation where you decide um, or the government tells you or somebody tells you, the doctors tell you, you must go into isolation. So you can be in self-isolation. If you remember, um, a lot of your prime ministers and ministers in the government will have gone into self-isolation. Joris, Joris, Boris Johnson did because he um, he, he tested positive uh, for the for the virus, so he was in self isolation. So that is when you have a sickness and you are isolated, right? Quarantine is where you are exposed. You are possibly you're exposed, and you you possibly could catch it. So you could catch a sickness. So isolation is a bit more severe. It's actually where you've got the sickness and you must be isolated. To be in quarantine is where you could catch the sickness. So we're all kind of in quarantine nowadays. Or we're in confinement. So confinement just means you're in a separate place. It has no medical connection. It's not a medical word. Um, it's a much more general word. So maybe we put that one at the bottom, confinement. Okay, Great. So there are some useful words for you. Remember, again, I'll put this sheet um, on the Facebook group at the end so you can go there and get it. If you've not joined, you can join us. Right. Let me come back to you guys. What are you saying? Now, this is interesting, right? So being a mother of two, spending time with myself is an absolute pleasure. Remember the an. That's great. Good. Um, I, I usually play online games. Well, why not? Right. I usually watch drama in my free time. Um, I love to spend time at home because of the coronavirus. Sometimes I play online games, right? Yes. Okay, good. Being a person who likes to stay out right but it's tough for me to spend time i would say by myself i would talk generally about generally i would talk specifically about me it's tough to spend time by myself right um well, we've got a teacher here i would like to spend my time with my pupils yeah i guess a lot of teachers are going to miss their pupils right um so excellent let me move up we've got some great ideas here um now, I usually spend my time by myself at the sport complex, but can you still do that with coronavirus? Hmm. Right. Okay. This is interesting. Asiel, I adore spending. I adore spending. Remember, I like spending. I adore spending time by myself. I read different kinds of books about astronomy. Great, great. Yep. So we've got some nice language here about scrolling through social media brilliant a lot of people spend time online games interesting having a sip of coffee if you know me that's not coffee that's my ginger water ginger tea oh it's lovely <clears throat> right <laughs> so joe ginda you're watching a series called money heist money heist um, i've not seen it but all my spanish students tell me about it it's a spanish one right um, I think La Casa de Babel, and it's on Netflix. And because I don't have Netflix, I haven't watched it. Oh, dear. Great. Hadi, great student. I spend my time learning the English language. Excellent. Good. Um, great. So what else have we got? Anybody else referencing uh, Corona? Elena, I love spending time on my own remember on my own right by myself on my own here we've got one mike 
I'm keen on watching movies at home in the midst, in the midst, in the midst, without the ah, in the midst of the pandemic. That's nice. In the midst of the pandemic. Let me write that down and when we can share that with everybody. Love it. In the midst of the pandemic. Um, good. Da, da, da. There's also some very good answers here. But I'm trying to find ones referring to Corona. <laughs> Playing chess with my kids. <laughs> that helps them to think out of the box and foster their creativity. <laughs> Playing chess with my kids. It's great fun. And as an added bonus, it helps them to think out of the box and foster their creativity. Creativity, Nice, Huda. Brilliant. Brilliant. Good. Um, okay. So let's move forward. I'm trying not to get drugged, sucked into all of the comments. Um, oh, here's one, a nice one. Some nice idiomatic expressions. Sony, I really love to spend time on my own. On my own. Most of the times. Ooh. <laughs> Without the S. Most of the time, I curl up in a chair. Oh, this is really good, but not myself. I curl up in a chair, right? I curl up in a chair with a book and read books. That's nice, Sony. That's nice. I'm going to make a note of that. I love to curl up. I curl up in a chair. Oh, that's one of those phrases that just Get your attention. Nice. Use that in the speaking test. It's really good. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, Sony. So, Corona restricts me to my room. Good. So, Corona restricts me or confines me to my room or my house. <clears throat> Brilliant. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> I make amalgam of videos on TikTok because it's in trend, because it's trendy, right? It's trendy. Okay. Excellent. So listen, let's, um, we've talked about spending time by yourself. What else was I going to add to that question? Yes. Okay. I'm going to add some more language to you, to you, for you. Let me share my screen again. Okay. <clears throat> How do you spend time on your own, right? Well, I'm confined to my home with my family. So somebody said that I'm restricted. That's absolutely great. You can also say, um, let me just take away Pamampit. I'm confined to my home. Ooh, does that help? Ooh, let me see. Ooh, that's clever. I'm confined to my home with my family. Um, I have a makeshift office, right? So for me, for example, I'm confined to my home with my family. So I don't really have much time to spend on my own. Um, but because we have two bedrooms, a kitchen, a lounge, but I have a makeshift office so makeshift is nice. A makeshift office is like temporary. It's just a room that I converted into an office. Um, and so I can escape and get some time to myself. That's a nice expression. So sometimes I can escape and get some time to myself. You can escape into your bedroom and get some time to yourself. Okay. Um, great. So another few more words we've got here. In my country, we are in lockdown, which means, you know, <clears throat> I can't go out. I can't do sport like I did before. <clears throat> we've mentioned before those who are sick, we can also call symptomatic, symptomatic, and the stress is on the sim, symptomatic. Whoops. Excuse me. Sympta, remember the toe becomes t, symptomatic. Those who are symptomatic are in isolation or in self-isolation. We have this other thing called social distancing, um, which you, I'm sure you've heard about. Um, social distancing is actually about to be changed. A lot of the uh, blogs and the news 
of changing this to call it physical distancing. But you may talk about social distancing, which is being two meters away from other people, uh, keeping a social distance. So you probably can be out on the street, but you have to keep a distance, keep a distance of uh, two meters, I think, should be. Keep a distance of two meters away from others. Yeah. So this is social distancing. But the problem is, as with many um, media uh, phrases, social distancing has a negative connotation because it suggests you should be apart from your family and apart from your friends. And with all the problems with mental health and stress that people are suffering at home, um, social distancing, it's not really about being away from your family. It's about having a physical distance from other people. So you will find nowadays people are talking a lot more about physical distancing. For your IELTS test, talk about both. You know, absolutely. You can mention social distancing or you can mention physical distancing. Okay. Great. Um, so let me move on to another question. Let me come back. Hello. Let me come back. And so there's a part two question, right? And I think there's a big impact here on us. This question. Right? Describe a leisure activity that you do with your family. <laughs> oh, I just look at some of your comments are brilliant. Just let me share this one with you just for a moment. I also do pillow fighting with my siblings, but once in a blue moon. Love it. <laughs> Damn and Preet great sense of humor and i'm sure it's true i'm sure you do so if we talk about leisure activities so what are the leisure activities that you can do and how has that changed maybe right so listen i i was thinking here uh, my answer might be um well a leisure activity um i do with my family is that i love to go walking in the park so typically i would or the three of us would go out on a Sunday morning quite early and we would go for a stroll around the park. We would sometimes take some snacks or a little picnic with us so that as we walked around the park, we could have a little break, sit down and um, have a little something to eat, which would keep us going through the walk. This kind of leisure activity was great, was great because enables some family bonding to spend some real quality time together but also to get fit as an added bonus on top of that we got into good physical shape we got into shape we got fit unfortunately nowadays it's no longer possible for us to partake in this activity due to the present circumstances of the coronavirus we are in isolation we're confined to our house. So we've had to find different kinds of leisure activities to do. But in the past, this is certainly a leisure activity I enjoyed doing with my family. So can you see how you can focus on one activity, like a normal question, but bring in, come in, come on, come in, bring in the coronavirus and its impact. And that would be great. You can widen your vocabulary. There you go. That's my idea. Okay, let's see what you guys are saying. Good morning, Jane Wang. Have you just arrived? So late, Jane. Come on. <laughs> um, oh, Jovin, it sounds like you're a bit of a poet. Hiking to stay healthy. The shiny meadows at dusk were enchanting and magical. That's very poetic for IELTS speaking, but still quite nice. Okay. Right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> See, Hajj. I do desperately multifarious activities, sometimes cooking with my mother, helping my father in his gardening. Okay, good. Good. Um, I play badminton in our society. What do you mean by society, Zikrudin? I play badminton in our community. Maybe you mean our community. Society is very, very general about the, the, the society of your country. Maybe you mean in your community area, right? 
Emily says that picnics are a most excellent way to have an enjoyable time. Spend some quality time. That's a nice expression. Spend some quality time. I think I said that. <laughs> Very nice expression, though. Um, this is nice. We usually play a game millionaire. I know that game. Yes. <laughs> Now, this is interesting and very true, D. Manpreet. I make gossips. Um, you don't make gossips in English. You gossip. You don't make anything. We just gossip. I gossip with my family members and sometimes make fun of each other because it cre increases emotional bonds, right? That is nice. That's very good. Great. Um, tell me how to get more ideas. Fit Fitness, listen. And write down that all the ideas are here. Look at the um, message panel. You've got loads of ideas here. Right. Um, here we go. Fatima says, I'm really taking the coronavirus positively since I'm usually busy. I have found time to do jogging every morning. That's great. And believe me, I'm enjoying it. We are only practicing the curfew. Ah, so the curfew is that you have to be at home a certain time but you can be out other times. You're lucky. My jogging goes from the bathroom to the kitchen, <laughs> five meters. I keep banging my head on the door. Um, great. Some other nice leisure activities here. We've got nice from Xuan talking about indoor and outdoor activities. So great. From Honey, we've got on the weekends, we look forward to go to the beach. It's only 20 minutes away from our house. Great. So that's a nice activity. Um, and in, from Brazil, Camila from Brazil says it's very common on Sundays, on Sundays for families to spend all day cooking and eating a barbecue together. But unfortunately, due to Corona, it is not possible to do with all the family. Brilliant. So you're bringing in the Corona there. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Um, I like this from uh, Nyok. We are, you are, your parents are professionals and you and your brother are amateur. So nice vocabulary you're developing there. Great. Great. Now, this is really nice. I enjoy drinking hot drinks every night and exchanging speeches. Not exchanging speeches, but exchanging stories. Exchanging stories is better. A speech is like, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this morning I'm going to tell you about the coronavirus. So a speech is much more formal, right? So exchanging um, stories, telling jokes, nice telling jokes. All about that family bonding, right? Getting that family bonding, really good. Um, good. We've got Vipin says, I love to be helping hands. Oh, not to be helping hands, to give a helping hand, to give a helping hand to my wife in making different kinds of cuisine. Oh, Vipin, what a good husband you are. That's great. Well done. Well done. That's nice. Okay. Um, so here we've got one from Jasmine. I love being bargain hunters on grocery shopping with my parents. That said, the pandemic, <gasps> pandemics? Is there more than one? Oh, don't do this to me, Jasmine. It's one, right? As far as I know, don't scare me. The pandemic has stopped us from going out together. We are confined at home and have to resort to online shopping. That is very, very nice. We have to resort to uh, something, which means you you don't really want to do it, but you have to do it. We have to resort to I'll share that again with you in a moment. Excellent. Brilliant. Um, we've got a lot of people spend, spending time at home with the family, family reunions, great playing cards, and you have a snack out. Snack, S-N-A-C-K, but it's speaking. It's okay. Okay. Um, now, somebody here, Anna, you're very lucky. We run and play football at home because fortunately – we have an enormous garden. Hmm. Hmm. Lucky you. <laughs> Great. So lots of activities people are doing there. Um, so just let me switch back to a few more expressions with you before I move on to <coughs> my tea. <laughs> Anna, sorry. Adios. 
So <clears throat> we have to resort to that was nice. <clears throat> due to the uh, due to the outbreak, due to the outbreak of Corona. <clears throat> snooze due to the outbreak of corona where was it due to due to due to the lockdown due to the outbreak of the coronavirus we have to resort to we have to resort to staying at home and cooking our uh, staying so it's ing right we have to resort to staying at home and cooking or doing pillow fights or helping giving a helping hand giving a hand to help my wife if you're a good good husband's great <clears throat> now we can also say given we spend a lot of time together <clears throat> it's difficult to do things given just means due to the fact or due to the fact that given that Maybe we can say, given that we spend a lot of time together, um, we have lots of chances uh, to bond. Um, to bond. We can talk about spending quality time together. It's a strange idea. It's a modern idea. I know you're probably thinking, but time is time, right? It's just the idea of quality time means you really you're present and focused when you're there with that person. And this is a nice expression due to the fact that, right, due to the fact that and then you've got the subject and the verb due to the fact that I am isolated from my family. I cannot spend time with the family. We don't do any leisure activities. So this is true, right? A lot of people at the moment are uh, isolated from their family. They're alone. And due to the fact that they are isolated, they cannot do activities together. So that's a nice uh, little expression, due to the fact that, due to the fact that. Um, and also talking about leisure activities, you may say we can't do that anymore. It's no longer feasible which just means possible, right? It's no longer feasible. Or that's a thing, excuse me, that's a thing of the past. <laughs> it's a thing of the past, which means we don't do it anymore. That's a thing of the past. So some nice expressions there we can be using. Let's move on and look at part three questions. Oh, here's another one. That's out of the question. That's nice, which means it's just impossible. So we used to go walking in the park, but due to the fact that the coronavirus has spread around the world, that's out of the question nowadays. It's no longer feasible to take a stroll in the park. We can't do that anymore, unfortunately. I think that's a thing of the past. Look at that. All four questions, all four statements. Now, let me move on here weather that was last week how do people so in part three then you may be asked how do people spend their leisure time in your country and look at this one right is the way people spend their leisure time these days different from when your parents were young well hello <laughs> hello mr coronavirus this is you're sure to talk about changes in lifestyle here Right. So that may be a, a great opportunity to bring in some of the ideas and language we've talked about with the coronavirus or COVID, just to make it clear. Right. COVID-19, it's, it's really for most people, it's the same. There is a difference. And if you go on the websites, you can find out. But for most people and for your IELTS speaking, you can talk about both of these exactly the same way. Right. You weren't meant to see that. I pressed the button too quickly. Right. So let me come back. 
Um, Soraya, we get up early to gulp in some fresh air. Ooh, to gulp in some fresh air. It's nice. It's interesting. It's unusual, slightly poetic, but I think you can get away with that. As the coronavirus is leading a side effect of cleaner weather. Ah, nice. And that's interesting because I was reading about that the other day. The pictures of New Delhi. It's just beautiful. There's all this beautiful fresh air. The problem is we're stuck inside and we can't enjoy it. And there's the irony, because if we do go out to enjoy it, we're going to destroy it. <laughs> uh, it's like, um, I don't know, the powers above are playing games with us, right? <laughs> Igor, very good. Better not be nefarious. Right. Good. Um, great. Let me see. I don't really share their activity. My family said talking much about the chaos around, but I can't call a leisure activity. Well, yeah, Nafisa, you're right. Except talking about the chaos around, and it's not really a leisure activity, is it? You're right. I mean, sitting around and talking about all of this chaos. I mean, that leisure activity, you could, as somebody else said, talk about gossip, sharing stories, and exchanging ideas. Um, you could make that into a leisure activity, right? We like to sit around, gossip, share stories and ideas and discuss current affairs. You could, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Nice. Um, uh, yes, drinking tea in the afternoon and then a bit about discussing it. So exactly the same, Arish. Great. You're after my own heart. Great. Um, so this is nice. Jeffrey says every summer we would travel. Now that's nice. Why does he say we would travel? Because it's something we used to do. It was a habit we used to have, um, which may be suggesting maybe no longer. We can no longer do that. It's a thing of the past. That's out of the question nowadays. We would travel as a family in a quaint beach resort near my home time. It is one way for us to reunite. So we've got family bonding, family reuniting. Great, Jeffrey. Thank you. Right. Um, <laughs> could you please tell me what we're talking about? I don't know what we're talking about. Satinda, the topic is the impact of coronavirus in certain IELTS questions. <laughs> Right, good. Now, uh, Daliwal. How? Daliwal, great. I've not seen you for a long time. Great to see you. I've all, I've done many leisure activities in my life. One activity which I do my friends, which I do with my friends daily, is on Zoom application, right? Group discussion. So here, the Zoom is like a bit like this. It's um, it's like Skype, right? It's a video conferencing software. So that can be a, a new leisure activity is doing family discussions via Zoom or Skype. That's right. Um, this is nice again. Hala, I used to go shopping with my friend, but with the current global situation, I'm not able to go outdoor. It's no longer feasible. It's out of the question. I just found my daughter's sock under this table. Not very professional. Um, okay. Oh, some nice things here. I was talking with our three chickens. Jane, I'm lost. <laughs> um, okay, brilliant. Good. E e e e e e good. Let's have a look at this one. I think we've got Nyung. In this time of self-imposed curfew, right? Self-imposed curfew. So curfew is similar to, to isolation. Sorry, to quarantine. It's all the same. But curfew is just a certain amount of time, a limited number of hours when you stay at home, but you can still go out. It's nearly the best time for retrospecting the knowledge I've learned. Um, it's the best time for retrospecting, yes. But retrospecting is just retrospecting. You can't retrospect knowledge. You can retrospect, which means thinking about the past. But here maybe the best time for reviewing the knowledge I've learned, reviewing the knowledge I've learned. Okay, nice, good. So here's one, just be careful with this. Uh, Rita says, due to coronavirus, remember it's due to the, 
coronavirus. It's a specific due to the coronavirus. Me and my kids spend time at the kitchen, in the kitchen, do a lots of bake, do lots of baking and follow the recipes on YouTube every day. Yes, we're doing the same. Excellent. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. Interesting one. Fook, I've spent most of my time writing my own novel. Fook, what are you writing about? What's the novel? What's the plot? Tell us more. Right. Okay. There's a lot of ideas coming up here. So, guys, um, this has been a very, very general um, visit to the coronavirus and its impact on us, relating that to IELTS questions, right? So we've talked about the questions about spending time um, together by yourself. Do you spend time by yourself? What do you do? And we've talked about, for example, playing board games because it's fun and it has the added bonus of boosting critical thinking. We spend time on my own or I spend time by myself. Um, and I do things like playing games because it takes my mind off the chaos that is going on around us. Um, in the present circumstances or due to the outbreak of the coronavirus, we are isolated and um, cannot do the activities we used to do. They're no longer feasible. So sometimes I curl up in my chair with a nice book. <laughs> so we've talked about that. We've talked about the part two question, describing a leisure activity you do with your family. Um, and we've talked a lot there about things that we used to do or would do in the past. But due to the fact that we are in isolation or isolated from our family, we can no longer do them. And we've talked a little bit then about some part three questions. Okay, now time has flown the same way that your comments have flown. Oh my, oh my. Yeah, Emmy, bored to death because of lockdown. Yeah, a lot of people are. Nice expression, by the way, bored to death, right? Doesn't mean, obviously, you're not dead, but really, really bored. Bored to death. Nice. Well done. Like it. Okay. So, um, a lot of people are watching Money Heist. Okay. Oh, dear. Yeah, there are some very, very... I mean, there are lots of negative effects, right, of this, and we've not talked too much about them. But I am going to move on because we are coming to the end. And... Um, I would like to spend the last five minutes with you doing some weightlifting, right? Some fluency gym. Fluency gym helps you become fluent and pick up better intonation. It is so simple, but it's great fun. And we're just going to do five minutes or so. Five minutes or so means more or less. We'll do five minutes or so. Um, and just help you practice some phrases. It's all connected to IELTS speaking, which is the great thing. So because I was in a rush to start the class today, um, I just need to find my files. And it's called the Fluency Gym. If you have not done this before, don't panic. It's really easy. In the past, we've done the present tense. Uh, we've done the present perfect continuous, right? Um, I'm going to have a look today at past habits. We didn't do this, did we? Or did we do the past? can't remember. Okay, so let me do the present. Okay. So some examples of the present perfect and, and how you could do this in different questions. Perfect. Let me just write an example for you. I have uh, I have traveled. Perfect example. 
to participle, I have been to Paris. Oh, voice has stopped. Oh, really? Oh, my voice is cutting. Now that, guys, I think is, oh dear. Sometimes, unfortunately, there's a drop in the internet connection. And you'll notice on the playback, the voice and the mouth are not together. And I'm worried now that my voice has gone altogether. We don't hear you. Right, wait a minute. Mm. 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 Oh dear, oh, wait a minute. So let me try again. I've just changed the preferences. I should be reconnected. How frustrating. Right, it's okay now. You can move on. It's okay. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Thanks for letting me know. Good. It's okay. Great. So, fluency gym. Okay, present perfect. So the idea here and the secret here is not to be reading. So I'm not going to share with you. Um, I'm not going to share with you the writing just to play with sounds, to listen and repeat. It's very simple. Repeat the phrases, but also repeat the D, 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 D. So when I say D, 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 I want you to say D, 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 D. Because it means you're not focusing on the words, you're focusing on the intonation. D, D, D. D, D, D is different from D, 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 right? So that focus on the sound and the pitch will really help you. So let me begin. There is part one. In part one, one of the questions is, have you ever baked a cake? Okay, so repeat with me. Actually, no, I haven't. Okay, again, listen carefully, then repeat. Actually, no, I haven't. And repeat this. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D Actually, no, I haven't. Great. Well done. So can you hear the DDD is giving you the intonation? So you need to practice both of them. Great. So that's the first part of my answer. The next part, listen carefully. I've never taken, sorry. <clears throat> I've never taken cooking classes. D D D D D D D D D. I've never taken cooking classes. So I'm afraid to say D D D D D. So I'm afraid to say I don't know how to cook. Dee 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 dee. I don't know how to cook. You don't have to do that with your head. I just do that automatically. <laughs> okay, let me just check you can hear me, right? You can still hear me. <laughs> that's it. Really, the dee dee is so important. So that's our first question and answer. Really easy, right? Come back later and practice more, but let's do another question. Have you ever been to an art gallery? Oh, my God. Ready? Oh, yes. I've been to a few, actually. Again? Oh, yes. I've been to a few, actually. 
滴滴，滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴。Oh yes, I've been to a few actually. I really enjoyed one I went to in Italy. D d d d d d d d d d d d d. I really enjoyed one I went to in Italy. It had some famous masterpieces. D d d d d d d d. It had some famous masterpieces. They were so impressive. D d d d d d. They were so impressive. Okay, well done. Very nice, brilliant, guys. You're really, really good. So notice you're you're looking for the intonation, but also the stress. D d d d d. Okay, pick that up. Let's do one more to finish on. There's one about quest. Uh, there's one about animals, right? Have you ever seen wild animals before? <laughs> Let's do it. Yes, I've seen loads. If animals in a zoo count, again, yes, I've seen loads. If animals in a zoo count, d d d d d d d d d d d. Yes, I've seen loads. If animals in a zoo count, I've been to the zoo in my city several times. D d d d d d d d d d d d. I've been to the zoo in my city several times. And it's full of wild animals. D d d d d d d d. And it's full of wild animals. The giraffe is one of my favourites. D d d d d d d d d. Try not to laugh. D d d. Dee 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 dee. The giraffe is one of my favourites. Brilliant superstars. That's great. So listen, there you've got three simple questions where you can use the present perfect experiences you have done and give some really nice answers. So you can come back, you can listen to this and practice. Okay. Excellent. Well done. Um, so keep practicing now. You tell us when you go on Tuesday and Thursday, time, ten o'clock time, and then Facebook page. You can see all the different times. Yeah, we're going every Tuesday and Thursday, ten a.m. time. Keep practicing um, the fluency gym. <laughs> I will probably actually, actually mm -hmm. do some short videos. Oh, it's going. No, I've gone again. Oh dear. No worries. Listen. Sorry about the sound, but let's finish for today. Great. Sorry about the sound. Let's finish the day. Guys, thank you very much. Take care, all of you. It's great to see you. Um, 
the internet connection. What can I do? Take care. Bye-bye.